<sighs> Mario. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today is episode 201. We are hopping into Super Mario Bros. 2 to celebrate this great occasion. Story, when Mario opened a door after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world spread before him, and he cleared a voice, or he heard a voice calling for him. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby. To his surprise, he saw exactly what he saw in his dream, or... Was he still dreaming, Inception style, guys? Guys, we are on the quest to play through the book of Thousand One Games Just Play Before You Die. We're on episode 201. This is a momentous occasion for us, and uh, really there's no better way to celebrate than with Super Mario Bros. 2, which is one of the most magical Mario games to me, really. It has mushrooms, colorful, wor colorful worlds, vines, platforms, strange creatures, secrets, power-ups, coins, warps. Literally, it's a dream world of magic. It's a prototypical magical world in my mind. Um, so let's go ahead and just, without further ado, hop in here. Um, one awesome thing about Mario 2 here that we didn't have in Super Mario Bros. 1, that was our 101st uh, game, by the way, so 201, we're, we're following suit with Mario 2 here, is that you get to pick your character. And they each have different abilities. So we're going to start with Mario. We'll work our way, we'll try each character at least once, but honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Luigi. Um, or even Pete for that matter, but uh, we'll go ahead and give Mario the honors to start us off here. World 1-1, so we just fall from a door in the sky, and voila, we are in the world of Mario. We get uh, these sinister looking pink eyes to begin with, boom, just thrown to his death. A uh, nice replacement for the Goombas. So basically everything that was in Mario 1 is not here in Mario 2. Um, we do have like turtle shells, turtle shells do show up, but beyond that it's like a completely new, whoa, roster of, of enemies here. Oh, I like how you can throw these guys and they just keep walking. They're, they're not your, they're not your papa's Goomba. They got more brains to them now, oh my god, we're, we're so rusty here with the Mario. Um, but yeah, basically all the characters are different now because, um, this is not technically a Mario game. Um, so we can't play Mario 2 without first acknowledging that it's basically, uh, I don't know if you call it a remake or reskinning of Doki Doki Panic, which is uh, a game that was developed by one of the teams that was involved in Mario, but it was not actually developed initially as a Mario game. Um, there's some, there's a really good video on the gaming historian about this, so if you're curious about what I'm talking about, how this wasn't a Mario game, go watch his video, because it actually sort of fills a lot of the blanks in. Um, but even though this is sort of technically didn't begin its life as a Mario game. This is, in my opinion, one of the best Mario games ever made. Um, as I said, as a kid, it was just such a magical game to go and play. There were so many cool enemies. I remember, oh, we just froze time. That was an awesome thing that you could do in this game. So let's see if we can see some enemies before the uh, time freezing stops. But yeah, we just froze time. Look, you can freeze time. That is such a cool ability. You didn't get that in uh, you didn't get that in Mario Brothers One. And look at all these cool, colorful baddies. I mean, this game just as a kid, it just captured my imagination. Honestly, um, I remember as a kid too. Like, I not only like played this game every day after school. Like, I would come home from school and we had a babysitter from like when school ended until about five or six o'clock when my mom got off work. And I remember sitting in the babysitter's basement with the other kids and we would just take turns playing this this Mario game like it was so amazing um, let's go ahead let's let's go up the back way because that's the way I always went as a kid we're really just gonna we're gonna play this game with no warps by the way as a kid I feel like I warped all the time but as an adult now I'm, I'm beyond warps I'm a man I'm gonna play this on man level difficulty which just involved taking a bomb for no reason that's okay we can take one bomb. We're tough. Boom! And now we gotta get in here. <laughs> oh god. Climb the ladder, Mario. There we go. Um, not only did I play this game every day after school, but I remember collecting, like, card stickers as a kid. So, like, you'd buy packs of cards, but they were actually stickers, but they were, like, card size, like baseball cards, and you would trade them with other kids on the playground trying to get a complete collection, because you also had a sticker booklet and it's like it had spots for you to actually put all the stickers in the booklet. And the enemies 
Oh yeah, we also get the slot machine here. So the coins, the number of coins I have depends on how many I collected in the level and you get them by dropping the magic potion that puts you into the dark world and then you pull up roots and their coins in the dark world. Anyway, you'll see as we play. If you haven't noticed the coins yet, you'll notice them. Um, I was kind of doing this whole level on autopilot without even really thinking. Um, we just killed some kind of bird creature that spits out uh, eggs. Like it barfs them out of its mouth. That's a weird way for a bird creature to operate. But anyway, this sticker booklet, we'll play Luigi this level, was so awesome because, like, it also had, like, little decoder parts where, like, the screen, or not the screen, the sticker, like, looked like bricks, but if you held a kind of like a 3D glasses thing over it, uh, just sort of like a red filter, you could actually read stuff on the cards, which is totally awesome. So yeah, we're on a magic carpet ride. Now, if you want to be cheap, you could jump up here and you could go and get to the boss right away. We're not going to do that, of course. We're here to actually play the game. Look at these guys. Oh, <laughs> look how big Luigi's head is, by the way, when he gets small. The only thing that doesn't shrink about Luigi is his head, which uh, is good for him, but not so good for the ladies. Hey, oh. Anyway, um, we, get, we need a key here. The keys in Mario 2 are kind of aggressively guarded by those guys. Oh, Luigi, you suck, my friend. You suck. I guess we get to, to keep being Luigi. There's actually a way to run and just jump into the sky over to the right here and then jump off of these guys' heads uh, as Luigi. And you don't even need this magic carpet, but it's actually really hard to do, so we're not even going to try and do it. I'm just going to bail on the carpet right here. Oh, get away from me, dude! Um... Let's see. It's always a guessing game to see like where the mushroom spawns. Yeah, there we go. Because you want the mushroom because it will like, um, there are the coins. It will power you up. And there's no firepower or anything in this game, but there, there are stars. If you kill enough guys, I think you earn a star. Um, you also earn hearts by killing guys too, I think. Jeez. So if you duck for a while and then jump, you do like a super jump. Oh my God, Luigi. Throw the key! <laughs> so if you get rid of the key, that mask will stop chasing you. I should not have picked Luigi for this level. I should have gone with, like, Toad or something. Oh, no, it's cherries. If you get enough cherries, then uh, you summon a star. This is a Sniffit, and we sent him to hell. Back to hell from whence he came. I always thought the shy guy is over here. The guy who keeps committing suicide can't even get him to spawn anymore. The shy guys always kind of look like serial killers to me. I mean, even, damn it, I was ducked there, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, there we go. Even the, uh, we're going to skip this part. Even the, the Sniffit guys, they all kind of look like serial killers. Oh, here's a star. Like those, those white masks. Like it's a mask, like from the purge or something like that. Like, hold on, let's find another shy guy. Like, look at that guy. If you saw that guy in the street, you'd be like, oh, he's definitely a killer. He's he's a straight up serial killer. Like nobody wears a mask like that, unless they're a killer. Okay, we're looking for the potion. Oh, I know where it is. We have to reset all that. Potion is back over to the left. Let's bring this guy for ammo. Oh, he didn't do any good. Now he's just another guy who wants to attack us. No. Ha, there you go. Stop barfing up pellets at us, dude. All right, now Luigi is very floaty. There can be, there's a lot of strategy in which character you pick for different levels. Like sometimes uh, certain levels can be harder or easier depending on which character you pick. Mario is kind of like the good all around guy. Toad is fast, but he doesn't jump high. Luigi jumps really high, but he's kind of floaty and like weird. Here's Birdo, by the way. Um, Birdo was, is technically like a cross-dresser or transgendered character, but Nintendo chickened out when they first introduced Birdo and changed it to a girl um, in the North American releases, even though in the Japanese releases it said that Birdo was a boy, but he just likes dressing like a girl. Um, I th don't know if that's been corrected or not in the latest canon of Mario, if it's, he's back to being transgendered or if... He's just a girl now. I don't know. It doesn't really make a difference. It's it's a bird creature that spits eggs at us and for some reason is guarding a portal to another world. I mean, this game this game is weird, man. This game is definitely weird. Um, what's what's interesting though is like back when Mario 2 came out, nobody thought it was weird. It was just this is just what the game was like. I don't know. Like when I played Mario 2, I was just like, okay, this is 
This is the second Mario game. The first one was kind of weird. The second one is weird. I expected the third one to be just as weird. But the third one had a lot of power-ups, but it kind of reverted back to be being more like Mario 1. So here's Toad. He's a little fast. He's a fast little nimble guy. Let's get these two guys. I like how all the characters, all the like uh, shy guys and sniffets, they're all like very multicolored in this game. A lot of nice variety here. Um, but yeah, Mario 3, it, it kind of went back a little a little more closely to Mario 1 with like turtles and question mark blocks and stuff again. And then by like Mario, like the later Marios, it became very apparent that Mario 2 here was the weird one. It had like sort of gameplay mechanics that the other Marios just didn't have. And I don't know, like, let's freeze time. If you pull up enough of these big ones, the fifth one freezes time. So there we go. Yeah, we did it. We're masters of time, time and space. Now there's a warp over here. If you grab this potion, you can't go down this, but if you drop the potion and then go through this door, then you can go in here, but we're not gonna warp because again, we're gonna play this game for real because we're adults. Plus we wanna see the whole game, don't we? We don't wanna like skip levels, but that would warp you to the ice level. Um, but yeah, this game, like, in retrospect, is quite odd. Um, but, you know what, the, when I was younger, I kind of, like, didn't know if I liked this game too much because it wasn't like the other Marios. But the older I get, the more I kind of feel like the fact that it's not like the other Marios actually makes me like it more because it just makes it more unique. And, like, not that I don't like Mario games. I do love Mario games, but they are kind of getting predictable. And, you know, like, Bowser's always the bad guy. It was kind of nice in the second game here when Bowser wasn't the bad guy. And we kind of thought, oh, maybe in every Mario game they'll just be, like, a different villain. That would be cool. But, uh, no. Uh, that's not the way it works. It's always Bowser, basically. I think Mario's had, like, the occasional other villain, but Bowser's, like, always the bad guy, especially in the 2D scrolling uh, games. So, whoa! That was a nice dodge. You like that? Wee! <laughs> oh, shoot! No! No! Okay, there we go. Man, a lot of these levels I just have memorized. Like, I know just which way to go and when to jump and, uh, what, you know, where I'm looking for stuff. That was actually pretty sweet. Oh, we're gonna get a heart and we're gonna wait for the star. Why not? I always feel like the star in this game is a little unnecessary. Like, it takes forever for you to get it. Uh, and then when you get it, it's, you know, it doesn't last very long and it's like, eh. I mean, I, I can usually just get, carry on on the level and not die. I don't need the star, but whatever. I guess it's nice if they give it to you. Um, yeah, but you know what, guys? I really, really would like to see a sequel to this game. I tweeted about it a while back. Uh, I think this game, of all the Mario games, whoops, deserves a sequel. And I'm not talking about, people say, but Mario 3 was a sequel, wasn't it? I'm not talking about that. We just killed Mouser, by the way. We're just flying through this game. We flew through Sonic 2, so it's probably appropriate if we fly through uh, Mario 2 here. Um, but there needs to be another Mario game that takes us back to the dream world with shy guys and snippets and, like, War is the bad guy. And, you know, like, we need to see this world again. Like, Mario 3, it was a sequel in the Mario series, but it wasn't a sequel to this specific franchise. And I think Mario 2 here is well overdue, well overdue for a real sequel. All right, we're giving Peach a try here. Show us what's going on, Peach. I never knew if it was Princess Peach or Princess Toadstool. I remember it being the two different ones uh, at different times when I was a kid. So she, she kind of floats. Princess Peach was like the character that everyone made fun of you if you picked. Because she uh, she's kind of like the cheap character because you, you don't have to have precision jumps. You can just sort of float your way through trouble. But, uh, but she's damn useful in some of the harder levels. So don't let people make fun of you. If you choose Peach, you tell them. Gaming J said it's okay, so shut your mouth. Shut your dirty pie hole. You tell them that, those words exactly, and they'll, uh, they'll respect you after that. We're gonna follow this bullet. No, bullet, wait up! Bullet! No, bullet, no! Oh, we lost it. Wait, how did I get another carrot? Didn't I throw it away? That's trippy. I picked up a carrot without even noticing. Oh yeah, digging? The digging levels were always really cool. Okay, here's one part where having the star is actually pretty convenient. Because these guys will try and drop on you from the sky. Or maybe they won't. 
Okay, we killed that guy. Oh, jeez. This guy's just barraging us with stuff. Alright, there we go. Woo! Scoot down the ladder here. Now, what's going to be guarding this door? Is it a birdo? I just knew I was at the end of the level. You can just kind of tell. Levels aren't that long, but yeah, it's a birdo. Come on, birdo. Show me what you got. Spit your eggs out. Let me get to that sweet, sweet gut of yours. Whatever that thing is, it's glowing inside of you. I want it. And I'm going to take it by force. Now we do this. <laughs> I don't know what that thing is, but it seems to open this guy's mouth. And getting eaten by these things seems to be good for me, so... We're just going to go with it. It's best not to ask too many questions when you're in a dream world of magic. Or wait, I guess according to the story, Mario had a dream about a place like this. And then he woke up. And so he's not actually dreaming, but... If he's not dreaming, how come he keeps changing forms into his three other compadres here, huh? Huh? Answer that. Now, these levels that we're playing right now, I am not super fami <laughs> familiar with. As you can tell, I just died at the very beginning of the level. Because I always did used to warp as a kid. So I was very familiar with the levels that we just saw. These ones are going to be like a little bit of an adventure for me. And actually, I'm looking forward to it. Um, because... Uh, again, this is a Mario game that I love. Never really got a sequel, and I'm so familiar with all the levels you warp to if you if we were to take the warp. I'm not super familiar with these sort of random in-between levels, and so in a way it's kind of like me getting new Mario 2 levels, because it's levels that I don't really remember, I haven't played that mu much. So it's kind of like unofficially getting a sequel. Like, what's in here? I have no idea. Oh, it's this. Oh, and a 1-Up! Uh, Toad has to, like, duck until he's blinking to get up there. Oh, that was easy. This game has a lot of sort of, uh... What, what would the, the phrase be? Like, Saudi Arabian themes, or... Damn it! <laughs> like, Middle Eastern themes? There's, like, the sort of snakes and snake charmers and stuff, and this music sounds a little, you know, like, uh... Like, um, I, I'm like totally blanking on the word for it. Oh God, stay away from me, shy guys. I am not the toad you're looking for. I always thought it was weird that this guy was named Toad. They should call him Mushroom Head. Or like Mushroom Face or something. Stay away from me. Oh, I ran into him. <laughs> See, you can tell that we're on levels I don't know very well because uh, unlike before where I was just flying through the levels, now, I'm, uh, I'm actually having to play rather than just remember strategies I used as a kid, and I'm not doing as well. That's okay. We're gonna get through this together, guys. Oh, jeez. Stay away from me. Look at them all! They want to mug me so bad. Whatever I got, it's what they want. And what they want is what I got. Hopefully they don't fall from above on me. No, I think we're good. Ah, damn it. <laughs> no! Oh, God! This is horrible! Um, maybe I'll do this. I'll go over here. You guys have fun over there. Um, yeah, this seems like the safer way to go. Ah, oh, damn it. We have to go over there. Also, because we never got a sequel, I always wondered what happened to Wart. Wart's the bad guy in this game. Oh, that was... that was lucky. Um, it'd be cool to see him again. Just see what he's been up to, like, I don't know. Even just for lore purposes, even if they're not going to give us a game. If they could just write some short stories, some fan fiction to tell us what happened to uh, Wart. But, like, official fan fiction. So I guess not fan fiction at all. Oh, God. See, now he's red, he shoots the occasional fireball. There we go, we got him. I could have, like, tried to pick up his eggs, but it's easier to kill him with whatever that thing was, that block. No bonus. I remember as a kid, I didn't understand why you do or do not get bonuses. So I would just get really frustrated because I I was trying to play it once when I was home by myself and I was like, why am I never getting bonuses? And it just totally did not occur to me and try to get coins. Like, it just wasn't a thing. I just, I don't know, I, I never thought of it. But 
I mean, that's exactly why you get the bonus. Like, you have to come over here. Like, I'm not gonna get any coins here, because I already plucked the one plant, but I just want this mushroom. It's always good to have the mushrooms. I think you have unlimited continues in this game, if I'm not mistaken, so it doesn't really matter if we don't have any lives. Oh, and instantly, I caught that mushroom and instantly took a hit, so... So much for that. Damn it! Oh, man. There's a way to actually get into that door. If I get these guys at, like, just the right spot. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. We're luring these guys into our, into our clever little trap here. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, come on. Oh. The problem is once you land on them, you like slide right off. Come on, come on. This is like probably not even worth it in the end. Yes, we did it, we did it. Oh no, getting in that door is actually gonna prove slightly difficult. Okay, there we go. Oh, I see. It's gonna be a lot of coins if I can figure out where the potion is. Okay, it's right there. Drop this right here. And then we go freaking nuts! Coins! Oh, we got a mushroom. Okay, it was totally worth it. Oh no! I wonder if it will let me do it again. So you're only allowed to use this potion twice to get coins. But this will be the third time that I went in, so... Oh, but it's letting me! Not gonna question it. Oh, this is the Mario 1 music, by the way. There we go. See, so if you go in a third time, you think, Oh, I could just get infinite coins. How convenient. They're onto you. The things are all just plants the third time that you're in there. Okay, so we're doing pretty good on this level, I would say. Despite the fact that we started, it was a rocky start. But I always thought the World 6 was a desert world, but I guess there's two desert worlds in this game, which is a little unusual. Normally in Mario games, we're just following this one guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, that worked out. Normally in Mario games, like, there's only one ice level, there's only one desert level, there's only one, you know, whatever. Ooh, pow blocks. Boom! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, this is gonna be a level where we need a key, obviously. We're gonna have to dig our way down and find that key. But yeah, look at that bird guy's face. Like, that is like a mask of a serial killer. If somebody wore that to Halloween, there's only one thing they could be, and that's like, uh, a killer. Like a, from a Saw movie or something, I don't know. I'm just kind of rushing it through these guys. You can sort of like dig out pits if you want and like try and lure them all into the pits, but these digging parts I always found quite challenging. Okay, I think we're okay. Easy. I wonder if those are the same cherries from uh, Pac-Man. If like in the video game world, if like the cherries were out of work, looking for a game to be in, and Mario's like, hey, I got a game that's coming up. And let's try and do this without relinquishing command of the key. This guy will hunt us until we drop the key. But we're we're gonna try and we're gonna try and beast mode it. You'll never get us! You'll never get us! This is really stupid, I should have just given up the key. Eh, but that's okay. We succeeded in the end. Let's bring one of these guys. We're going to throw him into the boss. It'll be really funny. If we can find the boss. Oh, there is no boss. Oh, we threw him into a snake. Good enough. Nice try. <laughs> oh, there's a boss. Oh, it's uh, the snake guy, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So there's a strategy. Damn it. There's a strategy you can do here, which is to build up a wall of these things to protect yourself. And then from there, you can go and attack him pretty safely. Ooh, we got the we got the patented Nintendo slowdown there. There were too many sprites on the screen. Oh, what the hell? He hit me through like the floor. Okay, well, we're not gonna, we don't need to build the wall this time around. Let's just kill him. Tell you what. Our strategy is to kill him before he kills us. Damn it! To just do massive amounts of damage to him. To pwn him like the noob snake that he is. Uh, he's just being a dick though about like, just non-stop shooting at us. Boom! Hey, that other guy disappeared too. 
I guess the will of the snake was keeping him alive. Without it, he's just dead. We have B coins. Now we have A coins. Um, I never noticed that before, but it counts in hex. So hex goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then A, B, C, D, E, F. So it's like, you know, if you know anything, if you ever tried to make a website, red, the color code is FF000. FF means 255 in hex and then 000. And long story short, that's the code for red. Uh, but it's a number. FF is a number. Uh, it's just counting in 16s. And there's a lot of technical reasons. Why are we talking about computers? <laughs> or I should say, why am I talking about computers? My tactic whenever I got a cherry first was to start hitting the buttons really fast because I felt like it gave me a good chance of keeping the cherry as the first item. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, it's how I felt. Oh yeah, this waterfall. Man, so many scenes in this game are just like iconic and cool. I don't know. Again, the, the worlds here felt more magical and varied to me than like Mario 1 did. And certainly Mario 3 has like very magical worlds and stuff too. But I don't know what it is. The worlds here feel like more varied than even Mario 3 almost. It's like Mario 3's worlds, um, they're kind of like, they take the elements from a world that that we've seen before and they just mix it up. Like Pipe World is basically just pipes that we've seen in every other world. It's just, it's all pipes. And yeah, there are, there are some like unique things about Pipe World for sure. I'm not saying there aren't, but it's like, there's never just one level that's just like a waterfall, you know, or something totally random. Um, and Beanstalks. Beanstalks are just cool. There aren't enough Beanstalks in video games these days. <laughs> These look... Looks like you can actually, like, stand on those things, but you totally can. You'll fall to your death if you try. Okay, we gotta kill this guy. Because he's just ruining our fun. That's like a cactus plant that spits fire. And... Hello. Let's see what we got going on here. Whee! Now, it's always a, a debate whether to take that one coin. I'm gonna not take it, because... Maybe there'll be a better place in the level and I can get like a bunch of coins. And if not, I only missed out on one coin, so who cares? We're playing the odds, people. Just like an, an addict gambler. Come here, Pinky. Oh, jeez. I threw him over the bad guy. <laughs> wait. Can I go in there? Oh, wait. Is this guy gonna die or hurt me? Oh, sh. <laughs> Guess he died. Interesting. Kill you. Mm, okay, now one of these is a is a potion. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Okay. We're coming back. We're gonna get some coins, people. We need to earn some extra lives before we get farther in the game. Ah, oh, damn it! He got me. Oh no, this is bad. This is quite bad. <laughs> Three, four, five. We're gonna get ten coins. Hmm. Can we like lure him over here? And then we'll get up here. Get this. All right. Do this one more time. This seems really stupid, but earning these lives is pretty important. Wee! And dead you go. That thing just wanted to kill us so bad, it, like, wasn't concerned about anything else. To its own detriment. Died doing what it loved, trying to kill Mario. Like, what did I ever do to that plant? Okay, lure this guy over here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know if I'd make it through there. All right, what do we got? What kind of bird creature are we fighting now? Oh, God. <laughs> I always felt like you should be able to duck under those things, but I guess you can't. Okay, we sacrificed one life in order to uh, to get those ten uh, coins or whatever. Oh, my God. Oh, no, we lost our thing. Oh, my God. He's, like, blocking our shots. Okay, we got him. Don't fall in the pit, though. <laughs> Whew. I wonder what's happening in Mario when he's blinking like this. Like, is he just, like, having... Like, his blood is, like, flowing so intensely that, like, it's, like, ripping through his whole body. 
and it makes him jump an unbelievable amount. He like tears muscles in the jump. He jump he's like it's he's raging out. It's the Mario rage. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> well, what's the strategy here? I was wondering. Okay, let's just try and do this. Okay, now we just need the turnip. Damn it. Okay. There's no strategy. The strategy is mash buttons. The same as when you were a kid. Just hope for the best. Hope for a cherry. Oh, there we go. Hoping worked. Uh, I don't want to give Luigi another try because he's so bad. He's going to get me killed. Let's do Toad again. We're going to bounce back and forth between Mario and Toad a lot. We'll throw Peach in there once in a while for good measure. Ooh, the ostrich level. This one's awesome. Damn it. You can pick up whole ostriches. And we can throw them at people. You kill people. You never been killed by an. You never been killed till you've been killed by an ostrich. That's like the the most awesome way to go in the world. Death by ostrich. Hold on to this in case we need it, and we do. Let's kill that dude. Oh look at it's a bunch of ostriches. The shy guys riding ostriches. How did they wrangle an ostrich? I wonder. Boom! All that everyone got wiped out except this one dude. You're lucky to be alive, my friend. Ah, fine. You guys can have a party in there together. Bombs. Bombs are so cool. Oh, man. There's so many cool things in this game. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tried to be fancy and kill him with a bomb. Didn't work out. As you saw, he killed me. Ah, oh, stupid ostrich. Okay, we need this heart. This heart is essential to our well-being. There we go. Everything is forgiven, ostrich. There we go. There's another level that I really like. So I really like the ostrich level, by the way. Um, I have a lot of... There's some memories. Not a lot, because, again, we used to warp past this level a lot. But I have some fun memories of the ostrich level. I don't know why I thought it was so cool, but I just did. Um... And I also, there's another level with porcupines and ladybugs climbing trees at night. And I always thought that level was really cool, too. So there's some cool stuff a coming for us in, uh, in this game. Um, I think I can beat this game, by the way, without warping. So that's what we're aiming for. I don't know if this will be a two-parter or one-parter. I mean, I guess you guys know because you're watching the video right now. So I obviously had to make a decision at one point. Okay, we don't need that. We have bombs. We need to blow our way through this wall. I remember you always want to take, like, the furthest away bomb and then run to try and get it to, like, the wall you need to get it to. Because if you start with the close ones, then the distance gets too long. Like, if you start with this one for this wall, then it would have been, uh... I wouldn't have had enough bombs to get over here. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep playing it cautious. I think we're done now. I think the last bomb gets us through. Oh shoot! <laughs> All right, there you go. One thing that's annoying is if you're standing like this, you can't. Oh, I guess you can. Interesting. I was gonna say you can't drop the bomb. I don't know. It wasn't dropping there for some reason. I guess I just don't understand Mario physics. This level always reminded me of Pitfall a bit, because if you... I played Pitfall a long time ago on my channel. If you go back and check out my Pitfall video, like, there's an upper world that you're you're running around on, which is where we started the level, and then there's, like, a lower area where there's, like, a scorpion and stuff chasing you, and you can get there in Pitfall. Um, I never remembered how as a kid, like, I didn't understand the game well enough, but this level always reminded me of that. Now, I think there's something to the far left. With Peach or Luigi, we might be able to get there. But with Toad, we just gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Like this. Yeah, it's this. So it's like, I think with Peach, you might be able to jump over here. Which is pretty gnarly, actually. And go! That sucked. All right, we gotta hold it for a bit longer. We're holding live explosives here, damn it! I <laughs> chickened out. Okay, and go! Ah, oh, Toad, you idiot! Um, I wonder what the checkpoints are in this game, by the way. Like, if I die right here, what happens? I think the checkpoint is the last ladder I went down. Boom, there we go. Way to go, Toad. You redeemed yourself, buddy. All right. 
so one of these so there is a mushroom in one of these I forget which one though it's the other one it's this one right here okay we're gonna come back for this because we we need some health it would be kind of cool if they had power-ups in this game. Although, again, that's like the perfect thing that you could introduce in this game if you were to make a follow-up game, um, Nintendo. I feel like everyone who's watching this video should go tweet at Nintendo asking them to make a follow-up to Mario Brothers 2. Because I think that would just be awesome if we actually convinced them to do it. I mean, first of all, you're never going to convince Nintendo to do anything, so they probably would not listen to a bunch of random tweets of fans who wanted something. <laughs> Nintendo just does Nintendo. They they produce some really good stuff, and they they have they've produced a lot of the classic uh, games over the years. But they're not a company that's known to be like super responsive to like their fans. They're kind of like this is the way we do business, and if you don't like it, then T.S. Boom! Come on, Birdo. The nice thing about Toad is he's so fast that these bosses are easy. The thing with Luigi is like, yeah, he can like float and stuff, so he's kind of got an advantage on some of the levels, but like he sucks at the bosses. He's just so bad. In fact, we'll take him and I can show you. I'm probably gonna lose some lives by taking Luigi. I don't know what I'm trying to prove playing as like Luigi. Maybe this is a good level for him and I'll luck out. All right. Hmm, this is interesting. Oh, bombs, the bombs. Um, in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, his band was called the Sex Bombs, which is pretty funny. Should we come back? Yeah, let's come back and we'll get a few more coins. We, we can't, we can't be stingy with the coins because we really do need them to survive. It's like not a joke, like, I will die if I don't have them. Well, that was a close one. That Bobomb thought he was gonna get me. Look, I got the POW block out of the Shade World. Out of the, what do they call it in Stranger Things? The, uh the underground or whatever that's that's where where i was and uh the demigorgon is gonna get me if i hang around there oh god Ooh. no no jesus what does it take to kill this guy he keeps coming back jeez okay that shell is really clear in the way all right let's see if there's a mushroom over here three doors oh there is Come on, Luigi, don't screw it up. You got it. Yes. All right. Now, what's over here? Okay, I think we gotta climb this in order to get the key, if I remember correctly. Oh, jeez. I guess it is good that we have Luigi on this one. We picked him on a climbing level. Who knew? Oh, I th can I just jump straight up there? I totally can! Whoa, sweet. Um... Oh, what the hell? How... Oh... Ugh. I think we gotta go to another doorway. I think this is like the fail door. Alright. Well, we learned something. Although... No, I know what I can do. If I keep this guy alive... Okay, we're gonna kinda scam the system here a bit. Oh, shoot! We're gonna try and scan the system here a bit by uh, by bringing this guy with us. You're good. We're gonna jump off of you, dude. You're basically like our little insurance policy. We're gonna use you in ways you've never been used. You're gonna like it. Okay. Now we just do this. Boom! We did it. So where does this door come from? Don't even know where that is, honestly. Huh. Wait, which way should I go? Now I'm really confused. Oh, let's try this way. It's like a maze all of a sudden. Huh, interesting. So I guess we want to be on this screen, but over here, I don't even know. I know we cheated something by getting up here the way we did. But, uh... Hey, I figure if you can work out these little things in the game, you should be rewarded. Fun fact about, uh... About Mario 2, it was actually designed to be a... Um... Originally, 
originally. Uh, it was designed to be a co-op vertical scrolling game like this, and characters would scroll together and could throw each other up places by, uh, by using blocks and picking each other up and stuff. Um, and that was, that was back before it was even a Mario game, actually. That was when it was still sort of considered like a Doki Doki Panic game. Man, I don't even know where to go at this point. I, I, I got myself totally lost. I think I should not have, uh, have jumped up that door that I was not ready to go in. Oh, God. Can't believe that worked. Get out of here! Run for your life, Luigi! Oh, Luigi! And you know what, even though this game started as Doki Doki Panic, like a lot of the the things it introduced really did carry over. Like Luigi still jumps extra high in Mario. Um, and he's taller than Mario. Oh, did we skip the locked door? We did. Huh, look at that. I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, we killed a ton of guys there. Yes, earned a heart. So killing guys is how you get hearts, by the way. Anything up here? Eh, I'm not gonna risk it. Ooh, what do we got now? Another Mouser! Alright. I feel like Mouser is not too bad of a foe. You just kinda stand there, get a bomb, drop it, you're good. Throw me bomb, but he is cool. Look, he's like wearing sunglasses and stuff. I remember his card. <laughs> the Mouser card. Ooh! Yeah, you're going down, Mouser! Ah, uh, we missed him. Gah. Oh no, I'm getting impatient. Get him! Oh no, he takes more hits than that! <laughs> okay. Oh, he killed, uh... He killed... No! Jesus! Jesus! He killed this, the, the sparky guy. There we go. Woo! Luigi. See, it's tough to be bosses with Luigi. He's a fragile little dude. Yes, we got it! Oh, what the hell? I've never... Those are rare, man. Those are really rare. Yeah, we're up to 13 lives. We're kicking ass and taking names. Whoops. Oh, I accidentally picked Luigi again. We're on World 4. Okay, we're about halfway through the game. I think we're going to go ahead and cut the video here, and we're going to return on Saturday with the second part of this video. Because, hey, this is our 201st episode. Let's not try and rush things, guys. We blew through Sonic in one video. Uh, Sonic 2 there, which was fun. we got to finish Mario, I think. But we're going to save the rest for Saturday. So, guys, let me just say that it has been a wild ride so far. I am totally looking forward to the 200s. I have tons of great games planned, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel like the video if you've been enjoying things so far and uh, feel free to share these videos with your friends if you've been enjoying hanging out playing some Mario 2 with me go ahead and share this video and uh, in the meantime guys if you want to see the thrilling conclusion to Mario 2 find out what this dreams all about you got to come back on Saturday so until next time my friends don't get caught in any dream worlds of magic and otherwise peace